strange creatures, unexplainable phenomena, paranormal activity, the facts, the myths, the legends, and beyond. Drift whales, plow-beaked flamingos, blue-tailed deer, rabbits. Good evening. Tonight we turn our lens on the strange creatures that inhabit the Arctic quadrangle. Take this plaster cast of an infant female polar beaver tail, or this mycicle specimen, a rodent native to the Arctic quadrangle. Remember, the more evidence there is, the less science can deny. Only the most explorative of explorers can unlock the secrets. <laughs> Only the most determined of the determined can succeed. This is owl-headed wolf monkey pea. It covers human scent, exponentially raising the odds of creature sightings out in the quadrangle. song of the Archoparatychus, what is commonly known as the Arctic Parrot. The Arctic Parrot is widely regarded as, as the most intelligent creature in the animal kingdom. Classically trained in opera, fluent in over 114 languages. Wow. Well, let's move along. We don't want to disturb this wondrous creature. Did you get that? Caribou hair, moose knuckles, oh, candy corn. Just as I suspected, this is frostbiter scat. Judging by the size of the stool, I'd say rather a large male, probably three, possibly four years old. Although carnivorous, frostbiters do not have a palate for and are morbidly afraid of homo sapiens. These are reglortus eggs. They'll probably hatch in about three weeks. It's best to not touch them or they'll be tainted with human scent. Reglortus is a very heavy breather. It's probably the female. She doesn't sound too happy about us being so close to her young. Although the aglortus is the slowest creature known to man, it's best to simply snap a photo and move on. See that? Over there. It's a remit. Remitus Maximus. Oh! Fastest creature in the quadrangle. Speeds in excess of 90 miles per hour have been documented. Now you see that over there, that snow-packed area? Someone's been very busy. It's a remit mating ground. They're very experienced. They know 600 plus positions. This is the call you make to see if there are any Pukak wolves in the area. A Pukak wolf, fascinating creature. Two-headed animal, one head on each end. Amazing. Oh, oh, looks like the snow bats have left the ice cave. As we were loading our gear into the truck, I was bitten by a snow rattler. Now, it's not as bad as it sounds, as it's a non-venomous snake. I did manage 
to capture the snow rattler, however, it was approximately 19 feet long. And when we brought it inside, of course, it uh, melted. The Arctic Quadrangle, a feast of exploration, a bastion of fascination. That's all for tonight. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on Exploring the Mysteries of the Arctic Quadrangle. Until then, may you seek the truth you find. This program made possible by a generous grant from Red Feather Snowshoes, proud sponsor of all those out exploring the mysteries of the Arctic Quadrangle, Red Feather Snowshoes. You never know what you'll find out there.